I'm start like I'm start like this. It's in my best interest in this video, in the, in the sake and the name of keeping everything true, so no one can ever ever poke holes in my story because they're all true. Is to start off like saying like this. I spent 15 plus years studying psychiatry, really 17 plus, but I'm going to give it 15 plus because I'm going to pretend the last two years don't count when I first encountered psychiatry, and I'm going to jump right to boot camp where I threw a riot, an anti-psychiatry riot, okay? The program I was in, the more you resist, the longer you're there. So it was in my best interest to agree with psychiatry, not only at that stage in my life, but when I got home and they used to pay me to take medication. Okay, so it was always in my best interest as far as economic gain, as far as getting along with my family, as far as brown nosing to a rich fucking brain surgeon. It was always in my best interest to pretend that it was true. So why did I spend the last 15 years successfully debating psychiatrists? I can honestly say in over 10 debates with psychiatrists on record, I have easily won every single one. When it came questions to, okay, what am I thinking? What am I going to do tonight? What are my symptoms of a seizure? Whenever it came to those questions, they failed every single time. And nine of them admitted that they couldn't read my mind and they couldn't predict the symptoms of a seizure. So the question came, if you don't know what the symptoms of a seizure are, what makes you think I have them? And they all went silent. They conceded I won the debate, period. So as a couple years ago, as I did date a, a woman with a psychology degree, she concedes my point. When I go on the internet and I type in psychiatry is a fraud, Dr. John Breeding, Dr. Gary Knoll, countless psychiatrists and psychologists conceded my point. So all my life, it was in my best interest to agree with the shrinks and to make my life easier even though I knew I didn't have a mental disorder. But I still pushed the line of psychiatry as a fraud and I was persecuted for the last 15 years because of it. So, where, what do I have to gain? I don't, I don't see a psychiatrist. I don't go to a fuck. I don't live in a psych fucking ward. I don't see a counselor, I don't see a psychologist, I don't see a fucking sociologist. So what do I have to gain by telling you that psychiatry is a fraud? Nothing. It is my sacred duty to God. And what do they have to gain by telling you that their pills, which are killing more people than anything, really work? Well, they have to gain thousands and thousands and millions of dollars. Okay, their reputation. They want to save face. They want to pretend they're helping people and not killing them. The kickbacks from the pharmaceutical companies. All the years they spent in college getting that degree. Their student loans. They have tons and tons of vested interests with the government with the bankers, with the pharmaceutical companies, with the eugenicists. Tons of vested interest. So who's telling the truth? Some out-of-touch fucking foreigner who doesn't know shit about you, who doesn't even understand you or your culture, or a prophet of fucking God with nothing to gain, a brain surgeon's son who sees exactly what's going on because he spent his life studying the scum. If at this point you do not understand that psychiatry is a fraud, then you are green lighted as well for being a eugenic.